In this video, we are going to see what is boot forcing and how we can practice boot forcing with damn vulnerable web application. We are going to solve boot forcing challenges on DBWA with Burp and Hydra. Boot forcing is a technique used in computer science to try a large number of possibilities such as passwords or keys in order to find the correct one. It involves trying every possible combination until the correct one is found. We will use Burp Suit and Hydra to boot force the login form provided by DVWA. In this challenge, we will test a password list against the user and try to log in as the target user. Now you should be on Kali Linux or Parrot OS in VMware, VirtualBox or running natively on your PC. Now let's first see the low difficulty DVWA boot forcing challenge. Go to DVWA security settings and set the difficulty to low. Now fire up the burp suit in your Kali Linux. Set the proxy in your Firefox to use burp as a proxy. You can also use the foxy proxy add-on to set the burp proxy. Now submit a request from Firefox to login with the wrong credentials. The complete request will be shown in the burp. Now right click on it and send it to the intruder module. In the intruder module, clear all targets and locate the password file and add it as a target. Now in the payloads tab, you can set the word list. I'm using john.list. Now start the attack. Burp will try to brute force it. Keep looking for the response size. The request response with the changed response size will be our matched password. We can also do this attack with Hydra. Hydra is a network login cracking tool that is used to perform brute forcing attacks on network protocols such as HTTP, FTP, Telnet and SSH. Hydra can brute force the password much faster than Burp Suit Community Edition. However, you need to format the command for it. You need to provide it complete URL of the form, which you can get from the network tab if you inspect the page. Just replace username and password with the capital user and password respectively with flags. Get the cookie information from the storage tab in the debug menu and set the login failure information with the F flag. Then you can use the following command to brute force the password with Hydra. Here admin is a target user and we are using a word list to crack the password. And the target is HTTP get form. Once the password is cracked, it will be displayed on screen. Now let's get to the practical part. So on your Kali machine, you can see DVWA web application. Just change the security level to low. Now select the brute force tab. And you can see a login form. If you try to log in with the wrong credentials, you will get the error username and password incorrect. And if you look at the URL, you will see the complete URL, which indicates that it is a GET request. You can also get the complete URL from the network tab. Just inspect the page, go to the network tab and you can see the complete URL. Now start the burp suite. Create a temporary project. And go to the proxy tab. Now set the Firefox to use burp as proxy. If you have foxy proxy add-on installed, you can just click on burp. Now turn on the intercept in burp and send a request from Firefox. And the request will be captured in burp. Now right click on the request and send it to the intruder.
Now clear all targets. Choose the password field and add it as target. Now in the payload tab, select your word list. I'm using John dot list in this case. And now start the attack. Burp will start cracking the password. Keep an eye on the length tab. You can sort the responses by length size by clicking on length tab. You can see that the password payload has a changed length size, which means that it is our correct password. You can check it in the response tab. And you can see that we have received the response welcome to the password protected area. You can also check it in a main tab. Now from the inspect tab, you can go to the network settings, get the complete URL of the page, go to the storage tab, get your cookie values, and format the Hydra command as we have discussed earlier. Now use the command as shown on the screen. Just press enter and Hydra will crack our password. Now let's just solve the medium difficulty DVWA brute forcing challenge. The medium difficulty adds a delay between different attempts and can be solved in a similar fashion. But the attack will be much slower. Just capture a new request and send it to the intruder and brute force it in a similar fashion. You will notice that only the cookie value has changed to medium and the attack is much slower. Similarly in Hydra, we just need to change the cookie value to medium and use the same command as a flow difficulty and we can still get the DVW medium difficulty password. We will notice a much slower attack but we will be able to break through it. Now on your Kali Linux, change the difficulty to medium. Go to the brute force tab. You can view the source code at the server and you can see that only a sanitization of user input is being performed and the other thing is that it is adding delay of 2 seconds. Now in burp turn the intercept on and capture a new request. Send it to the intruder. Clear all targets and use the password field as the target only. Set your payload as john.list file. And start the attack. Burp will start cracking the password, but you can see that our responses are much slower. And Burp has successfully cracked the password, which is password in this case. Now to crack the password with Hydra, use the command as shown on the screen. We have just changed the cookie value to medium. We are using dash v flag to get more information from Hydra and dash i is being used to ignore any errors if there are any. And you can see that Hydra has successfully cracked the password.
but it has taken much more time than the last challenge. Now let's solve the high difficulty DVWR brute forcing challenge. In high difficulty, a CSRF token is generated for each request, so it becomes very difficult to brute force through it. Hydra fails completely and gives false positives, so we cannot use it in isolation to break the password in high difficulty. Now generate a new request and send it to a bug proxy. For following the same steps, send it to the intruder. In intruder, we need to perform a few additional steps. Select both the password and token fields as targets. Now change attack type to pitch for attack. Now in payload section, for target 1, select the same john.list file. For the second payload, select to use recursive grep. Now in the options tab, add a new grep extract and select the token to extract it. Ensure that the redirections are set to always. Now in the resource pool, create a new pool with only one thread and start the attack. The bird will find the password which will have a change response length. Now let's see the attack in action. Back on your Kali Linux, change the DVWA security to high. First of all, let's use Hydra to brute force it. And you can see that it is giving us false positives. If you look at the source code, you will see that it first of all checks for anti CSRF token. So, in burp, turn the intercept on, generate a new request. Capture it in verb. Forward it to the intruder. Change the attack type to pitch fork. Select the password field as your first target and token field as your second target. Now go to the payload section. Now choose john.list as your first payload list. For the second payload set, change the type to recursive grep. Now go into the options tab. In the grep extract section, click to add a new grep extract. A new window will open. Click on Fetch Response, find the generated token and highlight it. Now choose the option to start at offset and end at fixed length and click OK. Now in Grab Mesh section clear the existing list. Add incorrect as we received password incorrect response in case of a wrong password. Now scroll down and set the read directions to always. Now go to the tab of resource pool. Now create a new resource pool and set the threads to 1. And click on start attack. And you will see that burp will start cracking the password. And in a few seconds, it will crack our password. The attack is much slower, but it will still work. And we can see that it has found our password. 